let me commemorate this day as the first stage of moving into my new luxurious two-story tiny mansion. Smells really janky in here. I think janky is my new word for nasty. That should go in the Urban Dictionary. Uh, based on a certain internet psychopath. But we're not here to talk about her. We're here to talk about... Oh. We're here to talk about how this... I also soon be cleansed of its jankiness and uh yeah that tub you know what I would love to do with that thing if let me keep it I could make like a indoor pond Maybe I can do it outside. Yeah. Here's my bed. Now they're going to paint over these walls, so maybe I'll just like paint some pictures on them for fun before they do that. And, uh, yes. So, going to make, bring on my, bring some books over here, make this my new chill spot. On to the next stage in my life. Finally. Time for a reset. Good things are happening. <sighs> when you're in a rut, it's easy. Usually project that rut into something that's going to last for, you know, like the next six months because it'll take that long to get out of But I have learned that even though they might last a long time, usually or often ruts, uh, when, when you get out of them, it, well, sometimes it takes a long time, but sometimes it can happen really rapidly. So, yeah, you, you might be in it for six months, but that doesn't mean that... So it's all six months of stagnation. It's just inch by inch by inch by inch, and you think that, you know, you try to think about what it'll take to get out of it. Oh, my gosh, it'll be another six months of crawling, crawling. But, like, at the end of the six months, like, you know, things start moving, you know? That's the nature of the universe. Things happen in clumps. They... Um, uh, you know, if you look at, like, randomness, like, stars, they're not all evenly spaced. They happen in clumps. So you might go through empty, spancy space, but then, you know, you'll see groups of stars together. If that makes any sense, I'm just talking about... Uh, I don't know, but... Um, and there we have the altar upon which I will sacrifice, um, small birds and, um, young maidens, maybe? I don't know. You know, maybe I'll put an owl effigy up there, have my own little, uh, What was it, the the grove that Alex Jones discovered where they were... Haha, <laughs> yeah, my own, um... What was it, the owl grove? Doesn't matter. Alright, time to move my shit in. 
Man. Uh, yeah, good stuff for coming. I got a new job. I'm here in town. I can walk there. Uh, it, it's amazing. Like, I have never lived in a town where, like, you actually, like, see the community. Like, every other person that walks into the store is like, oh, hey, Joe, you know, how's it going, you know? And everybody's friendly. And um, of all races... All friendly. Uh, fuck you, Robin D'Angelo. You're garbage. What makes us alike, no matter the color of our skin or our gender, or the differences we have on the surface, what binds us as our common humanity and I refuse to treat people differently because of their race or think that that's what defines them if you're if you're black you you are defined that is your fundamental fundamental thing that defines you you know what a lot of black people say fuck you you know, what defines me is, like, the type of person I am, and my friends, and my hobbies, and, yeah, you know, being black's part of it, you know, that's, that's an element, and, you know, for some people it's more important than the others, but, you know, um, I just, it, 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 it's so refreshing after hearing all this divisiveness, just of seeing, like, people in harmony with each other, and I get to be a part of that. Living in town, it's 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 really nice. And uh, you know, I'll get to know my neighbors. I'll go play my guitar out front. And uh, hopefully, I'll be getting a new job, working from home soon. But for now, I'm you know glad to get to take part in you know communal living. Um, I, I was feeling bad for not going to church for a while because, um, I don't have a social life and there's a lot of really wonderful people at, you know, church I used to attend and, uh, I can't do it. I just can't bring myself to go there because I, I don't go, I have zero interest in the sermons or the songs. I just want to go there to, you know, be friendly to people and, and fill a void in my uh, social life. And I felt bad because I, I've been feeling like, man, you just got to suck it up and just do it, you know, for your, you know, mental and emotional health. And, um, and I finally just said, you know what? No, I, I just... I'm, I, I just am not going to go back, and uh, and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. And, and uh, you know, this this change, it, it's kind of appropriate that it happened, uh, you know, this house and this job kind of happened right after I made that, that decision, because now I don't need to go to church to have that. So thank you, God. Thank you, God, for providing for me. Rose. I like crows, but I like ravens more. I like birds in general, but especially corvids because they are smart and you can teach them to talk. And I used to want to have a pet raven, but I have realized that they make terrible pets and I would rather have a parrot. So. I'm going to get some pets for this house. I would like to get a parrot. I want to get a, a frilled lizard. I think that'll be my, those will probably be my next pets. Um, save up for a, uh, probably a yellow Quaker, or no, probably a green sheet conure. And you know, maybe some, uh, maybe a fish tank with some axolotls in it. Uh, I, I need pets in my life more exotic the better I will never own a dog and probably not a cat
I'm okay with having a cat. Like if I was married to somebody and they they, they had a cat, I'd be like, okay, that's cool. Cats are nice. I like to pet them. I fucking hate dogs. Um, I uh, one time when I was working at the bookstore, um, me and this woman customer, one of us said that they. One of us said, I don't like dogs. And the other one of us was like, oh my gosh, me neither. And we feel like, oh my gosh. Like, finally, somebody else who doesn't like dogs. And people think, I, you know, that's like, like, you don't have a soul if you don't like dogs. But I find them needy and obnoxious and they smell. And I don't think they're that smart. I mean... They're not intelligent in a way that I value. Like, I like parrots. They're smart because they think. Dogs just like follow you around and look at you and wait for you to tell them to do something. I understand why people love being greeted by their dogs um, when they come home. You know, they, they feel needed and loved, and it's like, oh, my dog, he just is so excited. To see me. I get that, but I don't relate at all. I don't want to see some dog jumping at me because. It's like, yeah, you're happy to see me, but you're fucking needy. I would rather just have a cat that's like, oh, hey, you know, like, you know, comes up next to you. I don't know. I'm weird. Um, one dog, there is one dog that I, I don't plan on ever getting, but I would consider having a Rhodesian Ridgeback. I think they are the most elegant, beautiful dogs, like, in existence. I love them. So, kind of weird. But, and, and they're very, um, very smart in an independent way, which is something that I appreciate. Um, so, anyway, those are all my random thoughts on this auspicious move-in day. And, uh, uh I just want to keep rambling on and on and on, but I will finish this video here. Bam, 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 bam. I'm just going to sit here and play guitar, and I'll make friends that way. That'll be nice.